I'm Daniel Marin. Welcome to 9 on 9, our weekly interview show. This week we are learning all about the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine, a freestanding private medical college closely affiliated with New Mexico State University. My guest this evening is John L. Hummer, the president of the school. Let's get started. 9 on 9 begins right now. Joining us now is John L. Hummer, the president of the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine. Sir, thank you so much for being with us. First of all, tell us about the school. How did the school get started? Well, thank you, Daniel, for having me. So we started in the early part of 2013, and there was a physician, uh, Dr. Machescu, who was an anesthesiologist and osteopathic physician in Florida, who had an interest in developing a new osteopathic medical school in parts of the country where there was an absence of osteopathic uh, education. I was introduced to him through uh, the university and the Chamber of Commerce in Las Cruces. And I met him and we talked and obviously it was a big idea. Um, my background, uh, professional career was in hospital administration. So I had a knowledge in relationships through the region and I expressed to him that I'd be willing to work with him on the project. So we formed a partnership in the summer of 2013 and then we uh, met with the university. Uh, negotiated a letter of intent to have an affiliation, a public-private partnership, if you will, with NMSU. And then we raised the capital funds and we uh, started construction in 2015, admitted the first class in 2016. So there was a lot that went into that, that time period that I just told you, but that was the genesis uh, of the partnership uh, that eventually became the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine. And for those who are unfamiliar, can you explain what is osteopathic medicine? It is a distinct branch of medicine in the U.S. It is. Um, uh, MDs and DOs, DO being osteopathic, are licensed in all 50 states, have the same prescriptive uh, authority um, licensed in those states. And the education is virtually identical for the four years with the exception that osteopathic medicine still maintains the tenets of the profession uh, the mind-body-spirit aspect and the musculoskeletal system and the relationship of, of that aspect of the, uh, of the body. I was uh, reading... Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Continue. Continue. Go ahead. Well, um, the profession was founded uh, by a Dr. A.T. Still, who was an M.D. Uh, during the Civil War era, and he was disenchanted with the way that, that medicine was being practiced, and he uh, founded the uh, profession, and again, it was based on kind of the mind-body-spirit um, and not always looking, you know, at um, the, the, you know, to the symptoms that were going on, but actually kind of the causal factors uh, of, of the disease. Um, yeah, I was reading on your website, yeah, that it's not so much treating what's, what's wrong, it's looking at kind of the bigger picture of the person. Absolutely. It's, it's kind of looking at all aspects and, you know, so, let me use several examples. One is if somebody you know, back when the profession was, was uh, originated, if somebody had pain in the shoulder, the technique at the time was trying to, you know, cut open and look at the shoulder when maybe it had something to do with, a, uh, you know, a, a causal relationship from a, from a nerve or a muscle in other parts of the body and not just always jumping to, the, to that location but looking at other factors. I want to talk about your mission statement. It's para la gente y el futuro, for the people and for the future. Talk about that. Yeah, we were founded on that mission. Uh, the mission actually goes beyond that, but that is our, our motto, if you will. And it encompasses, you know, everything about the medical school. And we started with the mission statement. And, you know, the mission is expanded to, to speak to the fact of, of diversifying the physician workforce and to make sure that we recruit, educate, and graduate future physicians that represent the fabric of the society that, they're going, that they are going to practice in. And I think we've done a good job with that, um, but it's a continual effort uh, to improve that. But right now, fast forward to uh, two graduating classes. We're ranked number two in the United States among all osteopathic medical schools, probably top 10 among all MDDO schools in the percentage of underrepresented minority students. And so we're very proud of that. We're actually living the mission uh, and, and doing what we said we were going to do. I want to talk a little bit more about diversity. How do you accomplish that, graduating a more diverse class? That starts with the mission, as you said. Um, we, the mission statement was, was formed before the school even opened. If you look at our board of trustees, 
we have from the very top of the organization, we have a very diverse board of trustees that represent the region and the community from Hispanic leaders, African American leaders, um, uh, you know, all aspects of the healthcare uh, system and the higher education system. So we're, when you look at our board of trustees and our governance, uh, we represent that. So it's, it's one thing to say that you have a diverse organization, it's another one to actually show it in your board of trustees and how you govern the organization. So it starts there and then it goes with recruitment and priorities and making sure that when we recruit students uh, that we're attracting students that believe in our mission and uh, I think that's what, what has generated the results. We're just getting started here on 9 on 9. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine's partnership with New Mexico State University. This is 9 on 9. Thanks for being with us.